fullback slash tight end. He lines up tight end left. Blake Lock is at three, at two, and now a timeout called by West Virginia. 7.59 to play in the fourth quarter. West Virginia with the ball at midfield, tied up at 14. There. Again, 7.59 to play in the fourth, tied up at 14. After that chop block, the penalty moves the ball, as we said, back to the 47-yard line. So it's second down and 25 now for West Virginia from their own 47. And a great opportunity for Colorado's defense to get that ball back, and this is an important time of the game. West Lions goes wide right. Tito Gonzalez comes wide left. Jock Sanders in a slot to the right. Pat White out of the shotgun. Buffs with a four-man front. He is flanked to his white by the aforementioned Noel Devine. White getting the signal. Official says we're set to play. 7.59 to play in the fourth. Been a great one here tonight. Devine leaves in motion to the right. Empty backfield now for Pat White. Calls for the ball. Takes a chest high. Back pedals. Tucks it under. Wants to run. Now he's flushed. Running to his right. Trying to get bended around the corner. Running at the 45 with the 50. He's hitting knocked down as he penetrates inside Buffalo territory to the 49. But there is a flag on the play. Out in that area out there, that certainly could be a hold as he tried to sweep it around the right side. Huffs did a good job of covering that. Holding offense. Number four, 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, second down. That is West Lyons with the hold. Good pressure that time by Maurice Lucas as White wanted to throw and then he tried to run it up inside, but Mo Lucas was coming up the middle. And so that bounced the quarterback out to the right. By the way, they just sent it as a corrected freshman. Rushing one game oh, list. Okay. Uh, Rodney Stewart actually number four all time. Marcus Houston had a 150 yard game at Southern Cal. He did. Back in 2000. Second game of the year. Second down and 31 now for West Virginia from their own 41 yard line. Ball right hash mark. White out of the shotgun. Gives the inside handoff. Noel Devine runs it around the right side, across the 40 yard line, and reaching from behind and hauling him down. Nice job by Marquez Harad defensively. He shed the blocker, just grabbed the ball carry of Devine as he went by and rolled him down. Ended up being a gain of three yards and a carry by Noel Devine. And Marcus Houston was a true freshman. Yep. Yeah, Rishon was a redshirt, but he had that big game. Third down and 28 now for the Mountaineers. Big play for the Buffs here. Got to get a stop. Four-man front for the Buffaloes. Wide out of the shotgun. Ball right hash mark. Moving right to left to the Mountaineers. Flanked either side by a running back. White with the cadence. Giving the inside hand up to Devine. And he gets tripped up. Great job defensively. Right up the middle by Brad Jones, the senior out of East Lansing, Michigan. Hit the ball carrier and knocked him down. And that brings up fourth down and long. No gain on the play. And here comes a punting unit for West Virginia. Big stop by Colorado defensively. Big George had walked about 15 yards downfield and was cheerleading. Josh Smith is back to return. He stands at the 10 yard line off to our left. 622 to play in the final quarter here at Folsom Field. Pat McAfee, the senior from Plum, Pennsylvania, is out to punt this one away. He stands at a 28-yard line off to a right, takes a snap, steps to the right, puts the foot to it. It's so a high and spiraling. Josh Smith up, makes the grab of the 18-yard line, across the 20, hit immediately, and hold down at the 22-yard line. And so that's where the Buffaloes will take over. Uh, one thing that I can see West Virginia doing differently, they're blitzing a lot more here in the second half than they did in the first half. And they expected that from that 3-3-5, and they're getting it right now. They've got to get a, uh, do a better job of picking it up because Cody's been uh, really had a lot of pressure uh, the last couple of times the Buffs have had the ball. All right, here comes the offense for the Buffaloes now. Cody Hawkins walks out. He's going to set up under center. And again, uh, we got a delay here until we bring this back from the commercial break on the television side. Boy, these are long commercial breaks. Yeah, they are. Exactly. They got to make all those millions back. You know? <laughs> Exactly six minutes to play. Tied up at 14. Bust need to drive here. First down at 10 for just outside the 21 yard line. Back to the eye. Speedy Stewart at the tail of the 10. The ball center of the field. Hawkins turns. Gives out to Speedy. Left side. He's got Langster out there. Stiff arms him. Stays on his feet. Up the left sideline. Breaks a tackle. Running along the left sideline. 40, 45. And he got touched and knocked out of bounds up near midfield. Let's see exactly where they knock him up. And it's all the way back at the 39 yard yeah. line. So it ends up being a solid double digit pickup of 18 yards. But a first down. He was walking a tightrope along the sideline. And the cornerback Langster got just enough of him to kind of bump him and knock him out of bounds. Nice run. I, I thought he was going to be tackled after about two or three yards, but 
he got by that first man. West Virginia with 268 rushing yards in this ball game. Colorado with a buck 73. First and 10 for the 40. Snap to Hawkins. Turns. Hands out to Stewart. Stop and go. And he's immediately bet by a, a couple of Mountaineers. And there is a flag on the play. We'll see what that is all about. Most likely moving along the front. Illegal motion. Offense. Number four. Five yard penalty. First down. That is the seventh penalty against Colorado tonight. Patrick Williams, the one of the four captains for the Buffalo is a guilty party. They've been averaging nine. They have eight, 18 penalties in the first two games. Probably a little few too many. Yeah, no doubt about that. So first down at 15 for the Buffalo is now from the 35. Hawkins sets up onto the shotgun. Flank either side by a running back. Cody calls for the ball. Now he stands up. Yep. Looks to take the signal from the sideline once again. Watch the blitz. Guy walks up under center. Now back. Play clock is at three. At two. At one. Hawkins calls a timeout. Did he get it in time, however? I think so. Barely in time. Timeout, Colorado. This will be a 30 second timeout. My goodness. 4.57 to play in the fourth tied up at 14 no, 35 Colorado. yard line. Hawkins out of the shotgun. Takes a snap. Gives the inside handoff to Roddy Stewart. Bends it around the left side. Has some room to run as he. Pulls his way across the 40 up to the 43 yard line and eventually hauled out right there an eight yard pickup. So that'll make it a much more manageable second down and that's seven yards to go or so. Ovid Goldborn is there for the tackle for West Virginia. 434 to play. Tied up at 14 here at Folsom Field. Stewart out. Daryl Scott comes back in. For the Buffaloes at tailback. Second down and seven for the 43. Give to Scott. Runs to the right side. Tries to bend around the corner. Hit behind by Andrews. And got up to the 45. A two yard pickup and a carry by Daryl Scott. Andrews was there in the tackle along with Morty Ivy, who's been so active at linebacker. Now Cody's got to find that third down magic that he had earlier in the game. He was successful in his first third, three third down attempts in this ballgame. He's looking at a third down at five for the Buffaloes. From their own 45 yard line. Ball right hash mark. Out of the shotgun, Hawkins. Takes a snap. Boots to his left. Sets up to throw. Rears back. Rifles over the middle. And the catch is made across the 50 yard line. And hauled down by Morty Ivy. What a catch by Cody Crawford. First down, Colorado. Wow, did Cody Hawkins rifle that ball like a laser beam to Cody Crawford? A 70 yard pickup and a new set of downs. And the drive is alive with 3.46 to play in quarter number four. Cody bought himself some time. He was moving right after the snap. Rather than stand back in the pocket, he was moving off to his left and then uh, made a fairly difficult pass back to the middle of the field. Boy, if uh, the Buffs end up winning this ball game, make a, put an asterisk by that catch right there in the play by play. Cody Crawford. A whale of a catch. Please reset the game clock to 3:36. It was it was a whale of a catch, Mark. No question about it, because he was double covered on that play. And he had to go up in the air, had a hold on to the ball because he knew he was going to take a shot as soon as he caught it. They took Thank 10 you. seconds off the clock. I love it when the referee thanks the time crew. Isn't that great? Nice man. 14-14 yeah. is their score. First down and 10 now from the Mountaineers' 48-yard line. Hawkins out of the shotgun, takes a snap, gives on the end around, bending it around the right side, stutter step, and Crawford had nowhere to go that time. Up with Sidney Glover, the safety to haul him down. Ends up being about a two yard pickup for the Buffalo. Second down and eight, fourth coming down for the Buffs. Great reaction by that West Virginia defense. Looked like he was going to be able to cut inside. They sealed it off. He had to go back outside, and they caught him from behind. That's the first time I believe they've run that end around mm -hmm. to Cody Crawford. Normally it's either Josh Smith or Patrick Williams. But a different personnel out there. Second down and eight for the Buffs now. For the 46, Hawkins under center this time. Back to the eye. Speedy Stewart, tail of the tandem. He gets the call. Stop and go. He runs it right up the middle and goes nowhere. There is no gain there at all as the defensive front for West Virginia just plugged that up. Reed Williams came up from his linebacker position to make the stop. Well, now you got third down and nine. And you're, you, we're down in the crunch part of this football game in Colorado. Really needs to make a play. I'm a little surprised they ran up the middle on that last one. Demetrius Semler is out there as a lone running back. Hawkins out of the shotgun on third down and eight for the Mountaineers' 46 yard line. West Virginia bringing pressure. Hawkins sets, rifles it down the right side, incomplete. Patrick Williams cut in and ran up what appeared to be a post, and Hawkins threw it down the sideline. That brings up fourth down. Now, Matt Delano is going to have to punt this one away with 2.18 to play in the fourth quarter in this game, dotted up at 14. 
Two timeouts remaining for each team. So Delalo will kick this one away to Alice Langster, who has uh, been pretty good on return so far in this ballgame tonight. Delalo at the 40 yard line up to our left. Langster at the 10 yard line up to our right. Delalo puts the foot to it. High spiraling punt. It bounces inside the 10, and it is touched by Gardner McKay right along the goal line. Can't keep it out of the end zone. And he could not keep it out of the end zone. 209 left to go in this football game, folks, and it's all tied up at 14 to 14. Colorado again with a golden opportunity. They had a first down in West Virginia territory and were unable to move it any further than that. And the punt, good effort by Delalo, but it did go into the end zone. So West Virginia is 80 yards away, 209 left, and they've got two timeouts remaining. A designated driver, a taxi cab, or even staying at a friend's house. These are all better options than driving drunk. The choice is easy, and you hold the key. Never drive drunk. A reminder from Coors Light. Jim, by the way, with the updated rushing numbers, Roddy Stewart's got the greatest single-game rushing effort by a freshman in Colorado history. 26 carries on 151 yards unofficially now in a ball game. Yeah, long sideline run, did it? Yep. First down at 10 for the 20-yard line as we're about to come out of this break. Hey, check out the CU bus page on 850kway.com, full of interviews, behind-the-scenes videos. Jim and I do a number of little uh, video stand-ups analyzing before and after games. It's all on the CU bus page at 850kway.com. Make sure you head there. First down at 10 for the 20. Mountaineer is moving from right to left here in the fourth, tied at the 14. Shotgun snap to Pat White. Now, belly option gives a Noel Devine, and he goes absolutely nowhere. Maybe got a, a yard and a half positive yardage here. Great job right up the middle. By the Buffaloes by Mo Lucas holding him down. Second down, short eight long seven. Now I'm going to tell you that Pat McAfee, we've talked about him punting. He's a pretty good field goal kicker, too. He had a 52-yarder against Villanova. White again, second down at seven. Shotgun snap, handoff to Noel Devine. Left side finds a seam, and he's grabbed around the ankles by Sean Mulder and hold down across the 30 to the 31. That's a first down carry pickup of seven yards. So a new set of downs for West Virginia. They uh, move the sticks. Clock stopped at 140. White again out of the shotgun. Ball left hash mark. First and 10 from the 31. Shotgun snap. Empty backfield. White sets to throw. Rears now dumps off. Safety valve left side to the five. Running at the 35-yard line. Hit and hold down by Sean Moeller. A four-yard pickup on that little safety valve pass to the left side. Second down and six. He wanted to go up the meal, uh, go over the top, but there wasn't anything there. Buffs had it well covered. We're down to a minute 17. They're letting that clock run. Time on 14-14 uh, our score. White again out of the shotgun. Second down and six from the 35. Sets up. Calls to the ball. Give the inside hand up to the vine. Left side. He broke one tackle across the 40 out to the 44-yard line. Eventually, that's where the vine is hauled down. Jimmy Smith is there on the tackle. Gain of 13 yards. And that stops the clock with one minute to play. Oh, tell you what, this isn't good for a ticker a game like this. If if 52 yards is in McAfee's range, that means they've got to get the ball to the Colorado 35. First down and 10 for the 44. Shotgun snap to White, swinging out right side. Noel Devine running at the 45. He's hit, stumbles forward out to about the 48-yard line, and that's where he's brought down. Gain of four yards there. And so second down and six. I can't believe they're not taking time out. Chappelle Brown hauled him down. Down to 30 seconds. Second down and six now. Shotgun snap to White. Rolls to his left. Throw it near side. Down catches made at the 49. Broken tackle by the receiver Ulrich Arnett. He steps across the 50 and out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Now 22 seconds remaining after a five-yard pickup. It's third down and a long one to go now for West Virginia. I'm surprised they haven't been trying to stop the clock as well. Yeah. Now, now they're about 12 yards away from the kick he made against Villanova, 52 yards. Now, whether he can do that consistently, I don't know. They they know where they would like to get that ball. Well, we know he's got a great leg on kickoffs. That we know. Third down and one for the bus 47-yard line. Wide out of the shotgun. 22 seconds running, tied up at 14. Hand off to Noel Devine in the backfield. He is hit and brought down by Mo Lucas. And Brad Jones, no gain on the play. That brings up fourth down. He might have actually lost about a yard on that play. Fourth down and two now. This game's going to be And we're going to overtime. overtime. It looks like West Virginia, unless they call time here, and now they have with four seconds remaining. Timeout, West Virginia. 
to be a 30 second timeout. They I almost have to go to the end zone on this. They don't have time to set up for a field goal. I got to be honest with you. I'm not quite understanding the clock management here I, at the end of the game I, by the Mountaineers. I don't either. I'm amazed. They had two timeouts. They certainly could have milked this much in a much more greater fashion than they did. But Bill Stewart finally calls a timeout. They've got one left now. There are four seconds remaining. Tied up at 14 here at the end of the ball game at Folsom Field. And they simply didn't really have all that far to go to put McAfee in field goal range. By the way, Bus uh, fans, your team uh, will be back at Folsom Field for homecoming on Saturday, October 4th to take on nationally ranked Texas Longhorns. You can get tickets at cubus.com or cuhomecoming.com. Sealed the Harmony Silent Report with Charles Johnson. What about the wind in this situation, CJ? It's it's a, the wind is right to left as the kicker is facing the north end zone, but it's a little bit behind him as well, which makes West Virginia's uh, decision here to sort of milk it very, very bizarre, yeah, guys. Very strange. And so now as I'm they out. come out. Colorado the Buffs will call a timeout, timeout as they wanted to get a look at what West Virginia would do offensively there have been a few situations in this game I haven't been able to quite grasp uh, the little cat and mouse at the end of the first half and now yeah. the way that uh, West Virginia either managed or mismanaged the clock down the stretch here but the offense was back out in the field looking at fourth down and two from the Buffalo's 48 yard line now, Romeo Bandison's coming out to talk to his lineman here's the thing you got to watch white I mean, uh, pass to the end zone is, is the play. But White, remember the way he ran that quarterback draw and ran for a touchdown. You got to be careful of him running out in the open field. He's had a 38 yard touchdown in this ball game. He's had a 44 yard run as well in this game. The Buffaloes are going to drop the bulk of that defense deep, obviously, in this situation. And what they've got to be careful of is number one, the throw, and number two, then if White takes off and be a sure tackling defensive unit with four seconds to play. Tied up at 14 here at Folsom Field. All 54,000 on their feet in Boulder. Trips to the right. Tight end to the left. Shotgun snap to White. Rolls out to his right. Sets up. Under pressure now. Rears back. Throws it high in the air. This one will not make the end zone, but it's up in the air. Knocked down incomplete. And that is the end of regulation here at Folsom Field. Tied up at 14 as we will go to overtime. 14 14. At the end of the game, we will now go into overtime. I don't quite, I'm still, I'm that trying was to bizarre. figure out. To me, that was bizarre. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what, what the thinking was by West Virginia down the stretch. They, they, they end this game with the timeout still on the board uh, and had a right. chance to get themselves in field goal position. And McAfee, as you well documented, has got a kick of 52 yards, so he's got a decent enough leg. We've seen that on kickoffs. They should have and could have been able to work themselves into a field goal position, but yet they go for that pass, which White threw well shy of the end zone. And so here we go into overtime, and you know the way this works. Uh, each team will get it from the 25-yard line and then get a crack on taking it in. First team has an opportunity, and then the other team obviously gets the answer. It's kind of a baseball top and bottom of an inning, if you will. And from the 25 for West Virginia. Ball right hash mark. So boundary side right. White out of the shotgun. He's got two receivers right. Now one of them leaves that Sanders in motion. Fake handoff as White fakes to Devine. He is hit as he crosses the 25. Down to just shy of the 22-yard line. Grab the running ankles by Jeff Smart and hold down. Almost a three-yard carry by Pat White. Total yardage in this ball game through uh, regulation. 348 yards for Colorado. 335 for West Virginia. The Mountaineers have rushed for 292. The Buffaloes for 169. Second down and seven here in overtime number one from the Buffs 22 yard line. Four man front for the Buffaloes. Motion man the tight end from right to left. White out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. Inside handoff to divide. Running to the left. Cuts it up inside. Hit across the 20 at the 18 and he's hauled down. They'll spot him down at the 18 yard line. A gain of five yards. On the carry by Noel Devon, he had his lid knocked off there as he picks his helmet up off the field. Michael Sapilli on the tackle for the Buffaloes. That makes a third down and three. And here is big play. You want to keep him from getting that first down and force him to kick the field goal. That yeah. gives you a shot. And then the Buffs would have a chance to answer on the other end of this first overtime. Third down and three from the 18. During regulation, the Wet Mountaineers were 2 of 11 on third down. Tight end, both right and left side. White out of the shotgun. 
Play clock at three. At two. At one. Takes the snap. Fakes the inside handoff. Runs to the right. Gets hit, but he picks up the first down as he stumbles inside the 15 down to the 13 yard line. And the overtime stays alive for West Virginia. Five yard gain. And Pat White barely got that snap off in time. In the nick of time as the play clock was winding down. 14 14. Overtime number one here at Folsom Field between the Buffaloes and number 21 West Virginia. White out of the shotgun on first and 10 now from the 13 yard line. Four wide receiver formation, two right, two left. Motion man is Sanders. Give the inside handoff to Devine, and he got hung up immediately as he was able to wiggle his way down to just shy of the 11 yard line. So about a yard, almost a two yard pickup on first down for West Virginia. It appears to me that uh, they're not going to put that ball in the air. I wouldn't think so. That has not been their bread and butter in recent history, nor here tonight. As I mentioned, they're up over 300 yards rushing down the ball game. Second down and eight from the 11 yard line. Right out of the shotgun. He's got Johnson and Devine flanking him on either side. Takes a snap. Give to Devine. Runs it around the right end. Finds a seam. He's hit. Spins and knocked down by Ryan Walters across the five of the four yard line. He's about a yard and a half shy of the first down marker to make it a goal to go situation for West Virginia. Gain of seven yards. Now Colorado again has to buckle it up on a one yard uh, situation. Got to get a stop here. Force West Virginia to kick the field goal in the first half of this first overtime. Been a whale of a game. Hard hitting defensively in this ball game tonight for both teams. Third down and one from the four. Two tight end formation. Back to the eye. Sanders, the tail of the tandem, and now White calls a timeout. He wants to Time talk out. it over. That play clock West got Virginia. dangerously low once again, and White realized he wasn't going to get the snap off and had to call time. And you get one in each, uh, one timeout in each sequence. That's right. Each successive overtime, they grant you one more timeout. So West Virginia has no timeouts right now. By the way, all time in overtime games, Colorado has gone to overtime four times. They have won four and lost four in their history. And again, uh, this, I'm trying to think, so what year was it they brought this overtime format into play? It was not that time. Totally West long Virginia's ago. final timeout of the series. Off the top uh, of the head, I'm not I'm, coming up with it. I'm not certain the year, but I do know that Colorado had an overtime game in the first year of his against Missouri. All right. I'm thinking it's been about a decade or so, I believe. I think so. Roughly. That uh, they brought the overtime in, into Ryan Joe Hattingmeyer, in fact, is nodding yes in agreement over here, Jim. He said uh, he was playing in that game for the Buffaloes. Ryan, remember what year that was? I'm looking. 1999, Ryan says. West Virginia, by the way, one of three inside the 20 tonight in the red zone. They did get to have a touchdown, of course. It was in 1999. It was Missouri and uh, Colorado won it 46 to 39. Okay. And then Ryan, refresh my memory. Colorado scored, and then uh, Colorado intercepted a pass on Missouri's possession. Okay. That's what happened to that one. 14-14, third down and one from the four-yard line in overtime number one. West Virginia football. Power formation. Back to the eye. Jock Sanders, the tail of the tandem. Two tight ends out there. Now Urban, the tight end, shifts in motion off the right. White takes a snap, turns to his left, hands off to Jock Sanders, cuts it around the corner. He is hit and stacked up at the five-yard line, and the Buffaloes hold on third down. In fact, it ends up being a loss of a yard and a half for West Virginia on third down. Fourth down and about two and a half forthcoming for the Mountaineers. How about that? Great job defensively. Making a stop was Jeff Smart. And here comes Pat McAfee out to kick a field goal for West Virginia. This is the first field goal attempt by any team in the top half of overtime number one, 14 14. This one from the 13 yard line, a 23 yard attempt from the left hash mark. He's three out of three this year, 44 career field goals for McAfee. So this one just a chip shot. Not much more than an extra point. Put down. Kick is up. It's on its way. And it's off the crossbar. He missed it. Wide left. Off the crossbar. And West Virginia does not score in overtime number one. And the Buffaloes will have a chance now to answer as they take over possession. How about that? Just a chip shot inside the left hash mark from 23 yards out. And he pulled it. And it ricocheted off the left upright. And right now the... 
4,000 or so West Virginia fans are stunned here at Folsom Field. I, I, I am too. <laughs> Colorado with a golden opportunity now to win this game. All the Buffaloes have to do is come up with some points, any points. Don't turn the football over. And right now, Eric Goodman on the sidelines for Colorado. The uh, sophomore transfer from Wyoming, the Cherry Creek High School product, may get an opportunity here to win this thing. First and 10 from the 25. Turn, handoff, Speedy Stewart dances on the left side, inside the 25 to the 20, holds out of the football, and momentum takes him all the way down to the 17-yard line before he's eventually hauled out by Doug Slavonic and a host of Mountaineers. Chris Neal was also there, an eight-yard carry by Rodney Stewart, second down and two now at the 17-yard line for the Buffaloes. Boy, uh, you know, go back to that defense. What about that third down stop? Huge. Oh. Third down and one at the four-yard line. The bus got a tackle for a loss of a yard. Daryl Scott is out there. Second down and two here in the first overtime. Tied up at 14. Hand off to Scott. Got both hands around the football as he bowls his way down to the 15. Very close to a first down. Depending upon the spot, as the linesman comes in, he's standing right on the 15-yard line. That would be a first down. New set of downs for Colorado. First down and 10 for the 15. All they have to do is come up with something. Touchdown, field goal, either would win it. Yeah, but you saw what happened on the field goal. So you want to get it in the end zone if you can. But you don't want to lose the ball. First down and 10 for the 15. Back to the eye. Scott, the tail of the tandem, hand off to Daryl Scott. He dances, finds a bit of a seam, wraps up the football inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line. A gain of two yards. Morty Ivy is there on the tackle. Here comes Rodney Stewart off the sideline at tailback. Daryl Scott exits for Colorado. 150 plus yards, the greatest single rushing game by a Buffalo freshman ever for Rodney Stewart. He has been special here tonight for Colorado. Second down and eight for the 13. Overtime number one tied at 14. Stewart right side finds a seam, breaks a tackle. He dives inside the 10 all the way down to the eight yard line and just about broke that one for a touchdown as Ian Smith got a piece of him and knocked him down. A five yard pickup third down now and three yards to go for the Buffaloes. What a way this game has gone Mark. What a if, if Colorado wins this and here comes Eric Goodman. Oh, they're going to kick it here. The field All goal right. unit on third down. And part of the thinking here is that if there's a bad snap, you can cover it up and still have fourth down to kick it. Scotty McKnight kneeling down straight away at the 15-yard line, a 25-yarder. Eric Goodman set to win it for the Buffaloes in overtime. Kick put down. It's up. It's on its way. And it is good. And Colorado in overtime knocks off number 21 West Virginia on a 25 yard field goal in the first overtime by Eric Goodman and wins it 17 14 on blackout night at Folsom Field. Man oh man. The students rushing the field. As the Buffaloes are 3 0 on the season. Wins over Colorado State, Eastern Washington in dramatic fashion a week and a half ago. And now tonight, knocking off number 21 West Virginia in overtime, 17 14, on a 25 yard field goal by Eric Goodman. And the Buffaloes undefeated head next Saturday to Jacksonville, Florida to take on number 21 Florida State.